Hi, my name's Leland Jung. I'm a student, Diego Rivera docent at City College of San Francisco. This video is an introduction video to a series of videos that will be talking about Diego Rivera's Pan American Unity mural and looking for a hidden message. A message that tries to connect different worlds. Worlds that have been separated for far too long. A message of the surrealism movement and social revolution. The mural was completed in 1940. It's a gigantic and complex five panel mural, 22 feet high, 74 feet wide. Today it's not considered too controversial, but in 1940, the mural was controversial. Rivera even wrote an article saying, I am not a communist, and saying, I'm surprised to discover that so many people still look upon me as a radical. So today, we're going to be playing detective and look for clues in history, clues for the surrealism movement and clues for social revolution in Diego Rivera's Pan-American Unity Mural. First, we're going to be looking at a Rivera 1938 surrealism print called Communicating Vessels. It's based on a surrealism essay with the same name, written by Andre Breton, a co-founder of the surrealism movement. Second, we're going to be looking at a manifesto that Diego Rivera and Andre Breton co-signed in 1938. A Manifesto for an Independent Revolutionary Art. Third, we're going to be looking at the yin-yang symbol, a symbol used in Chinese philosophy, but also a symbol used in Diego Rivera's mural. We're going to try to find out if he's using the yin-yang symbol as a secret message for the surrealism movement. And finally, we'll look at the Tree of Life, a symbol used in Mexican culture and globally to connect the earth with the underworld and the celestial world. Diego Rivera, he studied art in Europe for many years. He combined what he learned in Europe and in Mexico to develop his own unique style and to create this gigantic masterpiece. As a warm up, Let's look at this simpler Diego Rivera print called Open Air School, done in 1932. Implied lines clearly points to the teacher. She's obviously the focal point of this print. Can you find a hidden message? Here's one. Notice the teacher's arm points to this elderly gentleman. He may be a symbol for the inequities and illiteracy in Mexico. Can you find another one? Here's another. There's a guard with a rifle between the farmers and the school. The farmers could be representing the past or the present and the school children, the future. What could the teacher be representing? Part of her is on the farmer side and another part of her is on the school side. The teacher could be representing education as a path from an inequitable past and present to a brighter future, and the guard could be representing something that's being used to stop that from happening. So we have a yin and yang situation between the school teacher and the guard, with the teacher being a connection or a path from an inequitable past and present to a brighter future, and the guard representing an obstacle, something that's trying to stop that from happening. In 2021, the teacher and the students 
could be representing City College. With students of all different ages and the farmers could be representing essential workers who can't afford to go to school. Before going further, here's some background information. In the 1920s, the bloody Mexican Revolution had just ended with 1.5 million deaths. The revolution involved a peasant uprising and the new government had socialist ideals. Art had an important role in the revolution. Now the government wanted to use murals to communicate a socialist message. They contacted artists like Rivera to paint murals. And he eventually became the leader of the Mexican mural movement. In addition to murals, he also did prints like this surrealism print titled Communicating Vessels. This print is very different than Rivera's other works. He uses stark emotional colors like red and black. It's edgy, grotesque, clearly meant to stir emotions. It's art for revolution using surrealism. Surrealism art often has surprising juxtapositions of whimsical, dreamlike images, like this strange combination on the left and on the right. Salvador Dali was famous for this type of surrealism, but surrealism also had a deeper meaning. It was an artistic and literary movement for social revolution. Andre Breton was a co-founder. As a medical orderly in World War I, he cared for shell shock war victims. And he became fascinated with Sigmund Freud and psychology. Surrealism believed if we depended only on our rational minds, disasters like war can happen. But if we could connect our rational minds with our unconscious minds and dreams, our thoughts could gravitate to a higher state and we could work together for revolutionary change. In 1938, Andre Breton visited Mexico and met with Diego Rivera and Leon Trotsky, a communist revolutionary. If you recalled, Rivera wrote he was not a communist two years later in 1940, but that wasn't true. All three men were communists, Rivera, Trotsky, and Breton. Rivera created this print to promote Andre Breton's surrealism lectures. The title, Communicating Vessels, is the same name of Andre Breton's surrealism essay published in 1932. This is the end of our introduction video. In the next video, we'll be talking more about the communicating vessel print and showing how it's related to the Diego Rivera Pan American Unity mural. This is Leland Jung, a student, Diego Rivera docent at the City College of San Francisco.